Hello and welcome to 445 Calendar. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. How can I create a 445 financial calendar in Excel? And I'm gonna answer that question in this video. Exercise one. And before we get to the formulas, let's answer the question, what is a 445 calendar? Some companies use a 445 calendar for financial reporting. Each quarter consists of 13 weeks divided into two four-week months and one five-week month. The first thing we'll need is the sequence function. Equals sequence. Now this generates a sequence of numbers. We can provide the number of rows. In this case, I want four rows. We can provide the number of columns. In this case, I want seven columns. Close the function and enter. And as you can see, this generates a sequence of numbers that spans seven columns and four rows. The next thing we'll need to talk about is date formatting. This is a date. It looks like a date. I typed in a date, and this is your basic date format. But we have a lot of control over how dates are displayed. For example, if I go equals this, I get the same date value, right? But I can control how it's displayed. For example, if I open up the format cells dialog, I can click on custom and then I can say D D D and that's going to give me the three letter abbreviation for the day name. And this is what we'll need for this workbook. But just to let you know, there are many other codes you can explore. The next thing we'll want to do is understand how to define a name. To define a name, we can select any cell, go to the name box and type our name. You want to avoid spaces and funky characters. For example, I could call this my name and enter. We can use that name in formulas rather than the A1 style cell reference. For example, equals my name and enter. So that just gives us a convenient way to reference that cell value in our formulas. And the last thing we'll use is the is even function. It basically returns a true or false value when it inspects the cell value. For example, equals is even. So is the value in B21 even, false, and true, and you get the idea. All right. With our warm-up done, let's go to the next exercise. Exercise two. Let's get started by naming this cell. I'm going to go to the name box. I'm going to type in FY underscore name and enter. And now I can use that in my formulas as opposed to the D5 cell reference. Let's start by setting up the column labels. For this, we'll use the sequence function. Equal sequence. We want one row. We want seven columns. And we want to start with the FY name value. Close function and enter. And if I look at the cell formatting, I can see that we used three Ds, which provides the three letter day name abbreviation. Click OK. Now let's get month one, which is going to have four weeks. Equal sequence. We want four rows, seven columns, and we want to start at the FY name, close function, and enter. Now, month two also has four weeks. Equals sequence, four rows, seven columns, and we want to start wherever this left off, plus one day, close function, and enter. And month three has five weeks. So, equals sequence, we want five rows, seven columns, and we want to start wherever that ended, plus one day, close function, and enter. And it looks like we need to touch up the formatting, so let's select this range. Control one to open up the format cells dialog. We'll pick date and click OK. That looks better. And we can continue on doing that for the rest of the year. And that's the basic 445 calendar. Let's go to the next exercise where we can talk about a couple of enhancements. Exercise three. All right, first let's start with our column headers. Equals, sequence, one row, seven columns, and we wanna start here. Close the function and hit enter. Now, equals sequence. All right, we want 52 rows. We want seven columns, and we want to start right here. Close function and enter. That looks good. If we want to make this easier to read, we can apply conditional formatting. We just select the entire range, go to conditional formatting, new rule. We want to use a formula, and we basically want to say equals is even. And we want to lock down the column reference, so we're going to use a dollar sign, and then we're going to inspect the month column, which is column C. And then we want to use the row for the active cell, which is 12. Close function, and then we can click format, and we just want to fill it with a light gray or any other color you want. We click OK and OK. And now this just breaks it up so it's a little easier to read. And those are a couple of functions and a couple of techniques for creating a 445 calendar in Excel. Hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user. If you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 